we're backstage here, here, here at the Fillmore having a beer with fear. We got Mr. Lee Ving. How you doing? Wrestling. wrestling. Yeah. They haven't told us who we're wrestling yet, but we know it's going to be Hulk or somebody of that nature. <laughs> yeah, 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 you guys are playing incredibly strange wrestling. You, you, you ever, you ever uh, thought you'd say anything like incredibly strange wrestling? Sure. You know, there's the WWF, the ISW. You know, it's like uh, the IBF and the uh, WBO. <laughs> thing get started to have a beer with beer what, what, what's uh, up with that started when philo started to bring a six-pack to rehearsal then i started to bring six packs to rehearsal then there were two then pretty soon all of us did pretty soon there was multiferous beers <laughs> and uh, it became thematic yeah, it, was, it was it was an essential part of our musical development as well <laughs> undoubtedly <laughs> What are, what are some of the changes you've seen between now and then? Which is kind of a generic question, but I, I want to... I would have to say that one of the major differences is the enormous rise in intelligence quotient in, in all, not only our audience, but uh, in, in, in the punk rock audience in general. Just a, an enormously more in tune uh, gray matter being brought to the table, as it were, if you will. M.O.D. did Living in the City, Guns N' Roses did I Don't Care About You. And what, what do you think of those versions of those songs? I think they're great. And I sent a congratulatory letter to Guns N' Roses on a, on a superb job. I haven't heard back from them, guys. I guess they're, they're busy on the road. <laughs> punk rock band to play on Saturday Night Live, am I correct? That's correct. That is correct. John Belushi, God rest his soul, was still alive at that time, and it was the last time he appeared on Saturday Night Live, and the only time, naturally, that we appeared on Saturday Night Live as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and, and you, you've done a lot of movies today. Like, you just crossed over doing mu music, doing, doing a lot of movies. I did a film called Oceans of Fire with Ken Wall from... Uh, Remember from The Wanderers? Yeah. And, uh, he also had his own TV show. Was it The Wildlife where you were the uh, psycho TV repairman? Yes. That's right. Jim Carrey stole Andy's all my shit. Yeah. 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 stealing your licks for years, right? Well, that's true. But the only reason for that is because we knew some licks, and that made us possible to be stolen from by others who knew none whatever to begin with, and so it was like a natural uh, osmotic situation. <laughs> It's more punk that way. The holler on equipment, that's the glamour part. <laughs> leaving, leaving at flash.net. Leaving at flash.net. Yeah. Okay, right on. So we'll have to put that.
And look, soon it'll be, uh, uh, I don't want to say what it is because we're working on putting it out there, but it will soon be a more identifiable handle containing our name.